Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at bypassing the search engines to find information on the internet. So search engines are great for finding just about anything on the web, but sometimes it's best to bypass them and go directly to some websites to get to information. So probably the most obvious example is using Wikipedia to look up information about people, places, or things. Wikipedia is great because it has tons of entries, many more than a traditional encyclopedia would have, a lot of detail and very current topics. So say my current episode I was talking about using HTTPS. What does that stand for? Well, you can type in a term like HTTPS into Wikipedia and it will take you write to an entry about that and you can read more and dig as deeply as you want to in the topic. It's also great for looking up history and not just history like you might learn in school but for instance say you wanted to find out more about wasn't there a cube shaped Mac at some point? Well yet yeah, you can look up Mac cube here and you can see that sure enough there's an entire entry here something you wouldn't find in a regular encyclopedia about the Mac cube history, model lists, all sorts of things. As a matter of fact, you can find this kind of entry for just about any Mac model that's been produced and also just about any major piece of Mac software. Another great example of a site that kind of bypasses the search engines is Internet Movie Database, imdb.com. Now you can go here, you can look up any actor, any movie, uh, even any role in a movie, and you can find out all sorts of information about them. So it's really easy to get to information here. I find I'm using this constantly when looking at movies on television or deciding whether to go to a current movie, even looking for information on movies that haven't come out yet. The music equivalent to that is allmusic.com, which has been around almost as long. And you can look up groups, artist names, song names, uh, album names here, get all sorts of information about the band and dig in to get more inf information and song samples as well. Now for finding local stuff I find it's often easier to go to the maps portion of a search engine either Google or Yahoo or Bing and use that for searches. So for instance if I search for the Apple Store when I'm already showing Denver I can quickly jump to the location that I want and get more information about that location as well including you can see here the phone number and address and I can jump right to that page now also many websites including MacMost have a search function that will just search that site. So if you know the information you want is at the site you can very easily find it here. So uh, for instance if you type GarageBand in the search field there I get a list that shows me all the different videos and also forum entries anything at MacMost that has to do with GarageBand. Now you can also use a search engine to bypass the entire web and go right to a website. So it's the same thing as I showed you before but you can do it for any website you want. So I can do discussions.apple.com. If I do site colon with no space and discussions.apple.com and then I type my search term it will only give me results that are at that domain. So for instance I've just found a way to search the discussion forums at Apple without getting junk from the rest of the Apple site that you get if you use the search box at Apple.com. Now here's another tip. Say you want to find out something about what's going on right now. Something that's too new to appear on the search engines. Like for instance the other day I saw smoke on the horizon and I wanted to see is there some sort of fire going on. So I went to Twitter and I simply typed in Denver Fire and I got some search results. Now of course that was a few days ago you won't see it here but I quickly came up with the fact that there was a controlled burn going on in a wilderness area nearby. My question was answered but I wouldn't have found that by looking at any of the news sites looking at any search engine results. Twitter gave me the answer. So there's a few ideas about how you can find things on the web without using your basic web search. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.